Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss the first problem from the latest Lead Code Weekly Contest 264. Problem name, uh, number of valid words in a sentence. So the problem is the A problem, it's an easy problem, but yet it has a lot of edge cases you have to look around while writing on the code for this problem. Cool. The problem goes like this, that a sentence consists of lower alphabets, that is A to Z, digits 0 to 9, hyphens, this is dash, and punctuation marks. Keep in mind, keep in mind that punctuation marks are all of them. Exclamation mark, dot, and comma, and, and the space. So a sentence consisting of like alphabets, smaller alphabets, one, two, nine al digits, hyphen, these punctuations, and a space. Cool. And, uh, and spaces. Cool. Now, each sentence can be broken down into one or more tokens separated by one or more spaces. A token is a valid word if. So, as you can see that these are tokens and these are separated by space. Now, they can be multiple spaces also as you can see. Uh, so, one space, two space or any number of spaces and then they are a continuous segment that is a token. Now, token is a, like a valid word if the following three properties are hold. The first property is if only contains lowercase letters, hyphens, or any punctuation, no digits. So any word should consist of any lower digit, like alphabet, hyphens, or punctuations, all of these punctuations, but not a digit. If any of the digit came, then that is not a word. Cool. If there is at most one hyphen, so hyphen in any word should be at most one. If present, it should be surrounded by lowercase alphabet characters on both the sides. So as you can see that if this is a, this is a valid thing because it is surrounded by A and B on the both sides. Okay. Uh, a and B both sides. This is not valid. This is not valid. Cool. And uh, there is at most one punctuation mark. So there's at most uh, max to max one punctuation mark, punctuation mark that among all of them, only one is present and that is at most one. And if it is present, it should be at the end of the token. And if there's a punctuation mark that is present, it should be at the end of the token. So to keep track of all of these conditions for every word. And among all the sentences, you, you just have to tell that how many perfect words are there that is following these valid words that are following these conditions. Now, uh, what you can easily do here is that just keep in mind that you just have to write down the cases for all of these conditions and that's the whole logic for this problem. Uh, how you can do that? I already like in many cases, if I have gone through my videos, I was in many cases told that if you are given some sentence like this, C A T, then there's some space, then a uh, dog then there's some space, then maybe two, three spaces and then maybe code. Now, now if you want to extract out the words, what you can do here is that you trade from left to right till you find out a space. When you find out a space, you, 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 should, you just take out a word, you just take a random, like a, a temporary word variable, store all the characters moving from left to right in that word variable. So it will first store C, then A, then T. And whenever you hit a, like a space, you will take that this is a word. So a space defined a word ending. Okay. And then whenever you find out a word, you see that you check on this word, whether it is valid or not. And then you delete out this word completely and then start afresh from a new word that is D O G. And then this word is formed. Okay. Then there are multiple spaces. If there is one space, then you just break at this point. This is one particular word. Then there is one more space. So because it is one more space, I have already told you that word is storing out the uh, word I have. If I just at any space, I will check out the current word I have and I will remove, uh, remove it out after doing the checking because I have to start it a new fresh word. But if you again find out a space just Im immediately after that, you cannot do anything because the word length will be zero. I will told you in the example part. So then what will happen for the last word? Because there is no space. So how will you terminate for that? So what you can do here is that just put an extra space in the end of this whole string because that will actually help you to terminate at this point, like for the last word also, or else whenever you go at the last character, it is E and then you will not stop. Like this word is not taken into account because there is no space in there. Cool. Now for every uh, word, you have to keep in mind and check for the conditions that it is consisting of all, like it should not be having digits or if there is some punctuation, it should be in the end. And if it has any hyphens, then on the left and right side, it have a, a particular alphabet. And that, that's a condition you just have to check. That's the whole logic, but you have just write down the code perfectly that uh, it fulfill all the conditions. So what you have to do is that this is the 
word variable like word variable that is storing out the current word this is the total number of words that are uh, good to be uh, or that are valid you have to print out this total variable then you just have to push out a empty space at the end which i have told you in the sentence and then find out the n iterate over the whole string okay whenever you find out a space you know that my word is complete so you go inside this if loop okay like if uh, condition and then you have to check that i will only do this checking if the size of the word should be greater than zero because then only I can like check for this word. If it is not less than like if it is empty, which means that they, may, they might be consecutive spaces, then you don't do anything. Just make your word like empty after this whole checking because now a new word will start. Okay. Else if it is not a space, you will keep on appending the new characters into word. Cool. That is how you are doing this. And uh, what I'm doing here is that if I'm doing a check on this particular word which I have like come up with in this whole sentence. If it turns out to be true, you will add one to total or else zero to the total. And that's the whole logic in the main function. Okay. Now, or the calling function. Now, what is it doing in the check function? So we have to just check all the conditions. If it returns the whole string left to right, if it consists of any of the digits, then return false. Okay. Cool. Now you have to count on how many hyphens are there. So this is iterate from left to right because there should be at most one hyphen. More than one hyphen is it is false. So if the hyphen count is greater than or equal to two, then return false. If it is not greater than or equal to two, it means that it is either one or it is zero. Okay. So then what you can do is again iterate over the whole string. If you find out a hyphen, which means that it is one or zero. Now what you can see is that if the hyphen is on the zeroth position, because it is said that the hyphen should be at a such a position that the left side and the right side both should be having alphabets. Okay. If it is the first position then it is also not valid. If it is the last position, then it is also not valid. Or else if on the left side and the right side, if the characters are not alphabets, then it is also not right. So return false for all of these conditions. Else it is fine. We can go down to the punctuation part. So punctuation again, do that on the left, right, just check that how many punctuations are that if the punctuations are greater than equal to two, then it is false because the punctuation should be at least one. Uh, okay. At most one, sorry. And then if the punctuation is at most one, or it till like punctuation is equal to one. Then how you can check that if the punctuation is one, the punctuation should be at the last position because that I have told you that the punctuation is at the n minus one. That is the last index. So if the punctuation is equal to one, then like the last one should be a punctuation. If it is not like if the last one is not equal to uh, exclamation or comma or dot any of that is not equal to that, but punctuation is equal to one, then it is a false because it means that punctuation is equal to one, but it is not at the last character. So it is also false. So that is also false else you just have to think over all the false conditions because if the false conditions are met at any point of time, then the answer is false because you don't have to like at any point at any point of time, you just, you cannot say that it is true. But if you find out a false condition, you can check that. Okay. It is a false. So it is false. So you have to check all the false conditions. If at any point of time it hit the false condition, then it is false. But if it pass all the false condition, then only you can say that it is true. Cool. So then as you can see, I have not written any true hit conditions here. These are all false conditions. Okay. But if it passes all the false conditions, then only I just return true. Okay. So that's the logic for this whole problem. As you can see, we just iterated from left to right over this whole string. So it is O of N, the length of the string. And for every character again, I'm doing that. So it might be like O of N square because I'm doing this for every character also like double checking it. So, but still it is up to thousand. So I can do this in over N square also. So that's the whole time complexity and space complexity. We are not like storing out anything. We are just storing out in the word. So this is all like a constant variable only because uh, this again, making empty, not a vector only. So a uh, constant space O of one space O of N square time complexity. That's the whole logic or, or not time complexity is not O of N square because uh, for every word, I'm just doing it again. So it's like O of N only, but twice of O of N, not O of N square. It is two times O of N. So it is uh, like O of N only, sorry. Cool. So that is the whole time complexity and space complexity for this problem. If you still have an out, you can mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Keep coding and bye.